Excellent. So, uh, so Chinmay, you said you're, you're, you're in the cloud storage group at Intel, right? Yes, I'm the cloud market manager. So we were talking about the explosion of data, obviously in our last kind of analysis, kind of kicking off the NAB view and what we're looking at. So uh, tell us, one, a little bit about what you guys are doing around data, uh, specifically around the enablement of these new solutions. Obviously, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that video requires a heck of, heck of a lot of storage. So tell us a little bit about uh, what, you're, what you guys are doing and then we can go into some questions. Absolutely, John. So there were about 2.7 zettabytes of data that we're going to be generating this year, according to IDC. And at that rate, we're going to be about 35 zettabytes by 2020. So uh, what's generating all that data is all these connected devices, including the iPhones that you were just talking about, you know, uh, billions of connected users, billions of connected devices, constantly generating all these videos and photos and audios and everything. So IT managers have a challenge, right? They have this ton of data that's coming their way. And uh, because, because of the economic conditions around the world, the IT budgets are shrinking or they are pretty much like, you know, held pretty tight. So what do you do? How do you cope with that? Well, Intel Xeon processor can actually help in multiple ways, and I'm going to cite two of them. The first one is the compression and the data deduplication, right? Uh, what data deduplication is essentially when the ton of data is coming your way, the storage system looks at each piece of data, whether at a uh, file level or a block level, and decides as to if that particular chunk of data is already stored in the storage system or not. If it finds that the data is already stored, it's going to just increase the reference to that data rather than storing the actual data. So depending on the type of, uh, the, uh, type of data that you're storing or the data set, you can achieve up to 95% of storage efficiency. Right? So you're reducing the number of mechanical hard drives that you're going to deploy to permanently store this data by about 90 to 95%. And Intel Xeon processor can help you do that inline. Inline compression, inline data de deduplication. That's a huge saving. So very low latency, not a lot of performance impact. Real time, very low yeah. latency, not, not a whole lot of uh, you know, performance uh, impact there. So obviously efficiency has been a big thread for IT and people in storage business. Get the most out of the gear, Moore's Law, all the performance stuff we've been hearing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but now in this new marketplace, we were talking about Instagram and the, and the iPhone, all these new apps. Business models are changing where IT now is, a, is, is mandated with make money. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit about what you're seeing in the landscape out there around not only efficiency, but what that's doing for ITs to give them the power to kind of figure out or inject new business model use cases for yeah, clients. yeah, absolutely. As IT is looking for new business models, right? They, there are multiple ways you can make money. One is by creating new business, and second one is actually, uh, you know, uh, squeezing the efficiencies out of your existing infrastructure. The second way that Intel Xeon processor helps in actually helping IT managers on squeezing these efficiencies out of their existing infrastructure is a technology called Erasure Coding. I'm pretty excited personally about that being a cloud marketing manager because this is a technology that's highly applicable in the industry. And companies like EMC Isilon and Cleversafe and Ampladata and uh, Microsoft Azure, they are all implementing this technology. A lot of those vendors are here, and I, you know, uh, I welcome all our viewers to actually go and visit them. What Erasure Core uh, allows you to do is uh, it allows you to achieve the same level of data durability like mirroring or a triple replication while achieving about 50 to 70% smaller storage footprints. Again, what that results into is this less number of mechanical hard drives deployed to store your data permanently. What that translates into is uh, less acquisition costs and less operation costs. So just to summarize, Intel Xeon processor helps IT orga organizations today to uh, you know, s uh, not only just kind of like you know, put the uh, infrastructure of tomorrow, but also squeeze the efficiencies out of the existing infrastructure and help them with their capital expenditure and operational expenditure. So, so one of the challenges that, that the IT manager has is he's got all these, or she has all these point products to manage. You've got compression, you've got deduplication, you mentioned erasure coding. Do you see over the next you know, three to five years is, is those technologies coming together as sort of an integrated package, and, and, and if so, what is Intel doing to facilitate that? Absolutely, Intel works with a number of uh, our partners and customers, and there is certainly integration happening at all levels. Uh, the way we see, I think, the technologies emerge is essentially at the bottom of all the storage is going to be 
a system that's going to store that uh, that's going to store all the data at rest. So all the data that's coming in, that's being ingested, it's going to you know sit in one large object store, right? Typically, you can deploy one large object store using the Erasure Core technology. Then, as the data is needed by different applications, HPC or um, you know any other you know application that needs that data, is going to pull that data out of the large object store into applicable uh, you know, storage tiers, including all the way up to going into the storage um, you know, SSD-based cache, et cetera. So integration is a big thing. A uh, lot of the companies like EMC are actually bringing in this newer technologies into their product portfolio and, and allowing end user customers to efficiently manage all that data. Yeah, now you mentioned uh, uh, CleverSafe, Ample Data. We're going to have Ample Data on a little later. That erasure coding thing really comes out of the consumer world, John, right? It's Reed Solomon coding. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's well known. Beginning to now go into the traditional IT space. The big issue is data growth, right? I mean, you have so much data now. It takes so long to rebuild a failed disk drive. You're exposed as that disk drive's Absolutely. rebuilding, right? And so, so this is a, a way that organizations are going to really deal with those, um, those data exposures and the data loss. Absolutely, and I think just you know, since we are talking about erasure code, which is what I'm pretty excited about, if you couldn't quite tell, yeah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> very exciting. It's a, it's a big change. Uh, yeah. You know, there have been limitations with the existing storage technologies like RAID. You know, as the hard drives are becoming bigger, we just heard that there is a four terabyte hard drive out of Western Digital now. Uh, the the existence of bit error on those hard drives is going from be, you know being a probability to you know almost a reality, right? Or and now even, yeah. as as the drive capacities are going bigger and bigger, and the RAID volumes are becoming bigger, once you actually come across one of these problems, the, uh, the, the RAID build times go into 48 hours or more. That means the first, you know, failure, the first hard drive failure and the second hard drive failures, they become a reality. Uh, at which point the data loss becomes a reality. A right? so this is a drive is going to take a month to rebuild. Exactly. <laughs> so this is a real and present right. danger. Erasure coding is your answer. Uh, we, we are pretty excited about working with all our partners on that technology. But Chin, obviously that brings the whole real-time discussion of the notion of disk failure and hours and hours to rebuild. Mm -hmm. uh, question for you, what are you seeing here at NAB this year? What do you expect to see this show? Um, that's going to be really compelling from a tech standpoint, from a storage standpoint. And two, what do you think? Uh, what are you hearing from your customers um, that will be here at NAB? What are the what are the key things that you will see? Absolutely. Again, going back to I think the the, the fundamental shift in technology, right? The NAB is talking about fundamental shift in you know the content, right? Who's providing the content? I think there is also a fundamental shift in underlying technology that manages this content. Uh, like Erasure Code, there are newer technologies that are changing the ways that the IT infrastructures have been deployed, uh, the ways that IT infrastructures have been managed, and the ways that data becomes available. Uh, you know, Erasure Code allows you to actually put the data on hard drives rather than uh, the tape drives. That means that data, that archive, is a near line archive. If you need to pull that archive at any time, the latencies are much, le uh, much less than if you had to actually go out and pull it off of the tape. Uh, what I, I think, I'm, uh, I, I'm, what I'm excited about this year's show is essentially going out and talking to our partners and customers uh, and, and seeing what is it that they're bringing to the table in, in, in uh, helping this fundamental shift in the ways that the IT infrastructures have been implemented. On the content side, you brought up content. Obviously, it's a content show. A lot of content deals being done. But the content producers now have to store massive amounts of data. Um, what are they seeing right now in terms of their, where they are in the marketplace relative to their IT solutions? Uh, what are their core challenges? Are they, is, it, is it uptime? Is it backup data recovery? Is it using the cloud for faster editing, all of the above? What are the key customer dynamics that you see there? All of the above, but I think what it finally translates into is the cost. You know, what is it going to cost me to do X amount of work? And uh, you know, uh, one of the things that we saw right earlier uh, in the past decade was Google and Facebook. You know, uh, you know, they came on the on our radar, and they fundamentally changed the way some of the storage solutions were deployed. Right, with Google FS, uh, they brought in you know, uh, storage being deployed using the standard, uh, standard servers, right? But their uh, thought was that if we made three replications of the same data, triple replication of the same data, 
we're good enough for what we need to do. Well, that's great, but that adds a lot to your management, operational, and acquisition costs, right? Uh, it, it affords very high level of SLAs, like 10, 9 SLAs, uh, but you know, what about the money? Because I'm spending all this money to actually have that kind of a luxury. Well, look at it as your code. <laughs> it gives you the same level of data dur durability, it guards your data against failures, and at the same time, it affords you know, about 50 to 70 percent uh, storage efficiency. We had Justin Stottlemyer on, John, at Appear Insight from uh, Shutterfly, and he told us that using erasure coding cut his storage costs um, by two-thirds. So his cost would became one-third of the previous you know, with tr using traditional RAID, previous cost, and he dealt with that whole problem of soft bit errors and hard bit errors. So Absolutely. it's a real sea change. So, Shinmei, my question is, do you see RAID as we know it as dead? Well, RAID's not going to die just that easily. I think I've read a lot of articles that read, you know, rest in peace, et cetera, <laughs> as just about any technology that is deployed so, so widely, and, you know, there's a lot of investment that has been made in that technology. Uh, it, it's going to, you know, it's going to, fade slowly, but if you were to think about, in a very crude format, erasure code is your rate for the cloud data centers. That's how I would put it in. Right, excellent. Okay. Well, we'll be at the Dell Storage Forum uh, coming up, so we'll be looking forward to chatting more about with that. So uh, thanks so much for coming inside theCUBE. Really appreciate it. Thanks for, for sharing your, your comments with us. Thank you yeah. very much. It's been a pleasure okay. to meet you.